Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. I wanted to come on and share with you one of my very few luxury beauty purchases. Um, I've never ordered from Chanel Beauty online before and this is kind of my first experience with them. So I did pick up a few things over here on the right, uh, as you can see. But I'll start by saying that this was heavily influenced by someone here on YouTube who I just adore. I think she's fantastic and her channel is awesome. Her name is Dana Ripperton. I'll link her channel down below. Um, one of the products here is something that she has really enjoyed and talked about a lot on her channel. So it was something that I knew I had to try, especially from the description and the demos that she's done. I kind of knew it was something that might be up my alley. Um, so thank you, Dana, for putting this on my radar. I will link her down below. Definitely go check her channel out. Um, so I'll start here with something that is not the product, but it is the presentation and the packaging. Just gives you the whole Chanel experience. My uh, order arrived in, of course, a shipping container, a shipping box. Um, but inside the box, you get this really beautiful, very kind of clean and elegant packaging. Um, very, very unique functionality as well in terms of the way that it opens and houses the product. So here's the front. You have this nice little bow on top. And when I undo the bow, which I will try to do with one hand here, very precariously, I probably shouldn't have tied this so there we go. Okay, <laughs> so as you open it, it kind of splays out like this and inside you have the product. I think that this is so unique. Again, very elegant and beautiful um, and just kind of makes you appreciate the whole Chanel unboxing experience. Um, so very, very, very much appreciated. I like that little extra touch. I don't have the heart to throw this out, so I do think I'll be keeping it. I don't know where I'm gonna put it, but I'm keeping it. <laughs> so here is the packaging. And then also a nice touch as well is that you get to choose two samples when you order online. And the two samples, at least right now, are coming in this really nice satin pouch that is definitely something that I can repurpose and use maybe to throw in my purse with a few extra items in it. And it says Chanel, which is, you know, something in its own right. So I'm gonna keep that. And then the two samples that I picked up are the Laylift Cream. And I'll start here and just say that this is definitely not for me. I'm okay with a little bit of fragrance in my skincare. Not too much, but a little bit is okay. Um, and this has a ton of fragrance, at least in my opinion. Um, I also find that when it dries on my skin, it's a bit sticky and tacky, which is just kind of a sensory feeling that I don't enjoy. So I'm happy to say that I don't enjoy this and I don't need to be purchasing this in the future. So Le Lift Cream, kind of a fail for me. Uh, the one thing that was not a fail though is this, and kind of a surprise actually, is the Chanel Chance Eau de Parfum uh, sample. And this, I was pleasantly surprised. I'm not usually a big fan of Chanel fragrances, but this one is something I can definitely get down with. I don't know that I would purchase a full bottle of it, but I'm happy to use this little sample up and I'm sure I'll enjoy every last drop of it. So that's Chanel Chance, really nice. And then let's move over to kind of the more meat and potatoes of all of this, and also the most expensive part of all of this, which is the two products that I purchased. The first one here is the original Le Beige Water Fresh Tint. I got this in the shade Light, and it comes with the bottle of the tint, as well as this adorable little brush, which is actually quite functional and nicely made. You can see on the back, it has that nice Chanel stamp, the classic Chanel stamp on top. And the bristles are really, really nice and soft and quite densely compacted, which really aids well in the breakup of some of the pigment capsules that are in this product. Um, and then the product itself, here's the packaging kind of more close up. You have this um, kind of a weighted plastic here that's very lightly frosted and you can see inside to the product itself. And then the cap has that beautiful, again, elegant Chanel classic stamp on top. I really am a sucker for kind of packaging, which is kind of unfortunate, but it is what it is. So this is, I forget if I mentioned, but I did get this in the shade Light. There it is. 
and it comes in a very poor shade range, very, very lackluster shade range. Um, but I will say that this product is okay to kind of stretch different shades. You can kind of wear a couple of different shades depending on your skin tone uh, because it is such a lightweight product. If it was more high coverage, then of course you would need a very specific um, shade for your own skin, but this I find I could probably go between this or the next shade up. So this is light and it works quite well for me with my fair skin. Um, the next product that I picked up was something that I saw on the website and I knew I had to try it. Um, I was already paying quite a bit for this product and I figured why not, I'll throw one more in there. This is the Le Beige Water Fresh Blush and this I purchased in the shade Light Pink and you can see it's the same packaging just tiny bit smaller this is a half, uh, the blush is a half ounce of product whereas the water fresh tint is a one ounce product um and what else am i going to say about this i guess i'll jump into i have a little dish here that i've pumped out each of the product into so that you can see the product itself before the particles are smashed up and dispersed so there right here is the water fresh tint you can see it's suspended in this water-based gel or water-based serum kind of thing going on there. And then right here is the water, uh, water fresh tint, no, sorry, water fresh blush and same kind of formula there just with um, a different color pigment particle for the blush. So I'll show you, I'm not gonna be able to show you very well much of a swatch of the water fresh tints, but I think you can kind of see there, there's a bit of a sheen, a very healthy natural sheen on my skin there. That is from the Water Fresh Tint. And then it basically, it's much lighter coverage than any tint that I've used before. Um, if you've used like the It Cosmetic CC Cream, something like that, it is much less coverage than that. I mean, really, really dialed down coverage. This to me just kind of really nicely refreshes my skin, makes it look fresh and healthy, um, and kind of tones down, dials down a little bit of the redness in my skin, balances it out a bit, um, and gives me an overall healthy look, which I really appreciate, especially on a daily basis. I don't always like to wear a lot of foundation. Actually, I don't like to wear a lot of foundation, so this product is really nice for me. Um, that being said, if you are a person, if you know that you're a person that likes a little bit more coverage, even just like a solid light to medium coverage, this is not the product for you. So definitely just go in knowing what you expect from the product um, and then I think you'll be happy if you know what to expect. Um, so this is just a really nice, easy everyday product. I, I tend to put it just like I wear regular foundation. I tend to put this in just the areas of my face that I have a little bit more redness, which is kind of like around my cheek area. I have a bit of rosacea kind of around my jawline as well as above my eyebrows. So I will find that if I blend a light layer of this in those areas, it really evens everything out, which is great. If I then go in and add some concealer under my eyes and maybe in areas where I have a bit of blemishes or something like that, then I can kind of wear this as more of a special occasion product, especially if I apply a bit of powder on top and then go in with my bronzer and blush and those kind of things. I will say that bronzer, blush, all of the other things that I put on top blend beautifully over top. It doesn't seem to pick this product up or leave patches in any way. Um, I've found it to be a very cosmetically elegant uh, product. So definitely something that I'm enjoying. I adore this, but again, if you're looking for something different, you're not gonna get it in this product. This is just a very lightweight, everyday, leaning more on the serum end of things with a touch of pigment. Um, I love it, A plus, very happy with this. Moving on to something that I'm not, it's not a fail, but it's definitely something that I am not fully pleased with, which is the Water Fresh Blush. And I think that that's only because of the shade that I chose. I chose this in the shade Light Pink. Uh, is it gonna focus? There we go, Light Pink. And usually I do go for, I love my blush, I love actually heavy blush, but also some light pink blushes. 
Um, so I did pick this up. I like more cool tone blushes and I thought since this is light pink, they also have one next to it, which is warm pink. I figured that this would be the cooler tone version. I was sorely mistaken because I'll show you a swatch here on my hand. I don't know about you, but that's like coral warm blush territory there. Um, and I will say it's just a beautiful product that does really have a nice finish and it blends very nicely on the skin. Um, but this is a very, very heavy swatch on my hand and I have very fair skin. Um, and this is a very, very heavy swatch on my hand and on my cheeks, it's even lighter for whatever reason. So even if I apply this quite heavily on my cheeks, I don't get much product or pigment kind of showing through. So I don't think it's worth the money. At least this color is not worth the money in my opinion. Um, I have seen some other people here uh, review some of the other shades and those do look like they have a bit more pigment. So I guess my recommendation here is don't buy light pink. If you really wanna try this product, I would purchase one of the other shades um, in this line. So I guess this is like a meh, this is like a C, maybe a, I, if I had to grade it, we've got an A plus over here if you know what you're looking for. And then the blush itself is maybe like a C or a C minus in my opinion, at least the light pink version is. So um, worth the splurge, not so worth the splurge in my opinion. Um, anyway, that is just my, maybe I've tested this out for about five days. Um, and I do feel that the Water Fresh Tint is something that I really enjoy and plan on purchasing again in the future. It's worth the splurge. We all deserve a little splurge and a little treat for ourselves. So yeah, if you're thinking of purchasing the Water Fresh Tint and know what the product is and understand and don't have like expectations that exceed what it is, I think you'd be really happy with this product. Um, and again, just the general Chanel experience, even when you're ordering online and not going to a boutique, is a really pleasant and uh, luxurious one. So sometimes it's nice to treat yourself. I recommend it if it's, you know, maybe something within your budget, at least for like a one-time splurge. Um, yeah. So anyway, that's just my quick thoughts on this. I hope you guys are doing well and have a healthy, happy, safe weekend. Enjoy your weekend. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye everybody.